Testing, testing, one, two, and a trois, quatre. All right, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and everything in relation to the metaverse, of course. Now, Apple is reportedly to be inching closer and closer towards the very much anticipated release of the VR slash AR mixed reality headset. Mm, more coming up very soon as we're going to be talking about this. But first, guys, do remember that we are doing a giveaway of a brand new HP Reverb G2 sponsored by HP and also brand new pair of cyber shoes with the gaming station, the cyber chairs, cyber carpet, everything that goes with it. And also one lucky devil will get a voucher worth 50 US dollars. We can redeem any, any title whatsoever that you want on the Oculus MetaQuest store, Viveport or Steam VR store be completely up to you. So guys, do remember to go to the link description below where you'll be redirected to our gleam.io the handover or the giveaway will be announced upon hitting the 11,000 subscribers so the more videos you will get to reshare the faster we will get there all right Ooh, i'm very excited about this story and it's good to see you again Oof. it's been a little while almost two weeks right so let's get on with it and by the way at the end of this video i will also read some comments and do some welcome to our new subscribers to the community hi to you if you're new of course all right, so let's just transition over very, very quickly and check out exactly what is going on. Apple's board of directors are reportedly tried out, or have reportedly tried out, its upcoming AR, VR headset. We could be getting close to an announcement. Ooh, really? I don't know. Maybe next September. Who knows? Apple showed a mixed reality. Let me just make it bigger so you guys can read. It's absolutely amazing. Apple showed a mixed reality headset capable of both augmented and virtual reality to its board of directors last week and has engineers hard at work on an operating system for the device, according to a report from Bloomberg. Bloomberg, do not mess around, guys. Mm, this is coming directly from Bloomberg. Attenzione, attenzione, as they say. All right, let's go back into it. Um, the story knows that while this doesn't necessarily mean we'll see a headset announced at WWDC next month, it may indicate that announcement is drawing closer. However, I don't know, guys. What do you think? Leave a comment below. I personally think that the announcement will probably most undoubtedly be done maybe next September. Do you guys think it's going to be before? Do you think they're going to be sweeping us under their feet? Or do you think they're trying to compete with Meta? Because, guys... As we know, Apple have two VR headsets that are supposedly going to be announcing. One is a very expensive, well, I mean, come on guys, we're speculating now, but according to previous records, one would be a cheap, more affordable one, according apparently around 800 US dollars or 1,000 US dollars. And then you have the super, super expensive one, which might cost about three or 5,000 US dollars, comes with a big box and all this kind of stuff. So we don't really know because of, obviously everything is wrapped in secrecy, so it's all speculation. But it could possibly be two VR headsets. We know that Meta are going to be announcing apparently four VR headsets within the next two years. So is it that Apple want to take a piece of the Apple, as they say? Hmm. Let's find out and uh, read a little bit more about this. Uh, Bloomberg says Apple has ramped up development of Reality OS and ROS, the operating system that would run on the headset. There's also another reason of a software push that could mean that the device is nearing its final stages. It's easier for the hints and traces of software to leak out before an announcement. We've previously seen ROS mentioned in early OS 13 beta builds and is also shown up in logs. This device has been in the works for quite a while. According to a story reportedly published by the information, Apple board members got to demo a few prototypes in 2016. Wow, wow. 2016, guys. 2016. We know they've been working on all this for at least 10 years. 10 years at least. Can you imagine? 10 years. It's a long time. Um, so yeah, they were extremely early stage devices, okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Bloomberg's report, the headset consumers release planned for late this year or 2023, is likely one of the releases shown off much closer to its final date. Although, you know, so many different reports have come out about this, and honestly speaking, um, some of them have said that it was 2023, others was 2024. Then might be a pushback, etc. So we don't really know. Come on, let's be honest. We don't. We don't really know. All this is really speculation, guys. Um, there are chips rumors from noted analyst Ming Chukuo that's powered by an M1 class chip. 
This seems to track with Bloomberg's report from earlier this year that Apple had to push back the announcement thanks to challenges related to content and overheating, as well as difficulties getting the cameras just right. After years of waiting, though, we may finally be getting close to the actual, actually seeing Apple's next category device. So guys, this is really something that is, I think, is quite exciting for the space because what you need to understand is that Meta at the moment, for those who are new to VR especially, Meta is a company that was formerly known as Facebook and they currently have the monopoly on the market because why? They come out with this device, a very similar device to this. Do you really think that I'm going to show you the Meta Quest on this channel? Do you really think I have the Meta Quest here in this studio? Of course not. This is the Pico Neo 3 Link, guys. Well, the Pico Neo 3 Pro, because it's exactly the same headset. As far as I'm concerned, Pico haven't written back to me yet. By the way, thank you very much, Pico, for sending me the updated VR assistant. I'm going to do a video especially for you this weekend. Thank you very much for that. Um, but at the end of the day, Meta is, you know, formerly known as Facebook. They came out with a headset exactly the same specs as this, just looks different, feels different, and is obviously a very different company. Um, and, you know, they're, they're the rulers of VR, guys. They're the rulers of VR at this moment in time. It's really that simple. So if Apple come on, come on the scenes, it's going to create a huge, huge force. It's going to also spur, spur, spear, spur, spur, <laughs> HTC to come, on the, to come on much more aggressively. We know that and Samsung to come on much more aggressively, as well as potentially Motorola, Microsoft, maybe there'll be a Nokia headset, who knows? Maybe there will be a Nokia headset, we are just not sure about that. At the end of the day, it's very healthy for the uh, ecosystem, it's gonna create a lot more competitors to come on board. VR is gonna be seen as something much more than a fad, much more than just a gimmick. It's gonna be seen as something very, very serious. A lot of celebrities, rich people, are all gonna go and buy this VR headset by Apple. They're all gonna go and buy it, guys. All of them. Even if they have a Meta Quest, they're gonna go and buy and splash their cash on the Apple headset. Every rich person, every celebrity, name, mark my words, they're all gonna go and buy it, guys. All of them. All right, let's read some comments today. Enough of this. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below so I can read your comments in the next video. So guys, here yeah, we're doing the big giveaway with the Apple, sorry, not the Apple, the HP Reverb G2, as well as, of course, the Cyber Shoes of the Gaming Station and also a voucher worth 50 US dollars that you can redeem against any of your favorite VR titles. Guys, we're at 10,850. That is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. But guys, yeah, do go to the link description below after this video to subscribe, sorry, to register for winning that potential awesome three prizes. Uh, let's go to people who have subscribed lately. Date subscribed, there we go. I'd like to welcome Edda de Oliveira, Vance's, Vince's Vibe, sorry, Ariovaldo Altavater, Mircham, Moshe Atas, David Leal, Stephen Ryan, Jack Taylor, and Cool Levix as well as Paul C. Guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I know how much it takes to click on a button. It's absolutely crazy to click subscribe. So thank you so much for subscribing to this awesome community. You guys are freaking awesome. That's all I got to say. Let's go and read some of your um, comments as well. Yeah, why not? Let's go and uh, read some of your comments. Sorry if I'm not able to uh, answer all of them, however. Um, so Thomas Grio, uh, sorry, Exploring and Me says, is that an Android store? So this is about the Oculus Go guided meditation VR. No, it's not. Um, well, I mean, technically it is, but it's not on the Android store. It's on the Go store. Uh, I tried, okay, Thomas Grio says about the USB 3.0. I tried a couple of cheap knockoff cables. Um, let me just like in the heart and then I'll reply later. Um, I actually tried a couple of cheap knockoff cables which claim to be USB 3.0C. Um, and neither worked. One actually destroyed a $1,500 PC by shorting the port. <laughs> Poor guy. Uh, when I examined the port on the cables, I discovered they were actually USB 2, and one didn't even have the correct pinout, USB 2 or, or 3. Uh, well, sorry to hear mess up that happened with you, mate. Um, 
you know, lesson learned for other people, I guess. Chris95 says uh, about the F1 2022 coming out to the Oculus Quest and HP Reverb G2. Go and check out that video, guys. Pretty cool. Hi, I'm considering buying my first VR headset and I'm pretty confused. I definitely want to try and play F1 2022 as I'm a big fan of the sport, but I don't have a steering wheel. I was torn between the Quest and the HP Reverb G2, uh, or Reverb, sorry. I've read reviews that say the tracking on the Reverb is really bad which is concerning since I'd be using it to play other games. No, no, there's no issue, that, no issue at all now with the tracking. Tracking is, the tracking is very good. The tracking is very good. There are no issues at all with it. You'll have the best graphic experience inside of VR. Uh, yes, it should be fine with the GX 1080. However, go and link, go to the link, go to the actual um, website where it has all the links. A new version of the G2, by the way, did come out, and that's the one you'd probably be buying. Uh, there's no issues whatsoever, so no, no, no. You'll be absolutely great with the G2. I definitely recommend G2 if you have a PC, definitely. Um, I have the same experience when I look into the lens without any cover for testing. This is the about the extra X4V for the HP Reverb G2. I uh, think it's causing by seeing the borders of the lenses. I still think it gets better closer to the lenses a few mm. So ideally it would be probably something in the middle between spacer and no spacer. Thank you very much for your comment to hear it. Yeah, it's very true. I put the spacer, I took off the special space. I mean, I put on the special spacer that gets you closer. I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. Actually, I reverted back to the previous gasket of the original G2 because to me, that is the best gasket available. And finally, let's read one more about Steam VR setup plus graphics 2022. Maurizio Mattia says, Dear at VR Essentials, I use I used to follow you, but after a ton of graphics setup on Reverb G2, I'm pretty sure that 90 hertz FPS is not the real effective target for this VR. Impossible to manage stable on almost all the games on Steam. CPU is no bother. To be honest with you, I've got no issues at all. And I've done so many different videos about graphics for the HP Reverb G2, guys. Honestly, I, I forget counting the amount of videos I've done. So guys, this setup for Steam VR is the one to follow. There's no issues with it whatsoever, unless your PC is very much different and it's like a 1070 GTX or something. It's just not, I don't know, I'm just saying, at the end of the day, it's actually a very good video because it works and it's helped tons and tons of other people. Believe me, we've had no complaints. So I'm really sorry to hear that, Mauricio, but I've got no issues whatsoever. Maybe another issue that you are facing. Guys, thank you so much for following today and, you know, for, for all your comments and everything that goes with it. You guys are super awesome. Remember to go to the link in the description below now after the end of this video. We could potentially win a brand new HP Reverb G2, Cyber Shoes, the gaming station, and also US dollars, 50 US dollar voucher, sorry. That's you can redeem against all your favorite VR titles. Sorry, been a long day after work. I'm recording this video. <sighs> More videos coming this weekend. I hope to. I can't promise because I might be too tired, but I'll try my best. All right, guys. See you in the next video and also see you in the comments below. Bye, guys. And see you in a previous video.